What's going on guys, my name is Jay and in this quick video I will show you how you can add a cool video background to your website. And as you can see here, I have this one which is what are we gonna do now. And we have a video background, a beautiful video, and then we have a title uh, sitting on top of it. So this is very simple to do, it looks great. We're gonna play with the height and we're gonna play with some um, color overlay too. So let's get into it, let me close this. This is our website, it's blank right now. So let's open our text editor. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so we have here an HTML code. The only thing that I have is um, a reset CSS, um, a font from Google, and a style.css that is empty. Um, I'm gonna share this code with you, so if you wanna use the same thing I'm using here, I'm just gonna um, put it on the description of this video. Go there and download this code. All right, so let's start with this. Um, our body is empty right now, so let's start doing a section. It can be a section, a container, or whatever you want. So this one's gonna be called section, but it can be whatever you want. Inside this section, everything's gonna be inside here, the title and the video. So let's start with a title. So we can create like an H1. And we can say, welcome to paradise. All right, so we have the title. And now we need that video. So this is a regular HTML5 video. So that's what we're gonna do here. So it's gonna be video and you can have, um, you can put multiple options here. I'm just gonna use autoplay because I want the video to automatically play when you go to the website. I want a loop. I want to um, the video to keep, you know, an infinite loop. I don't want it to stop at the end. So infinite loop. And something very, very important, you need to mute your video. If your video has sound and you put a video with that, with sound, Chrome is gonna block the out of play option, okay? This is not gonna work because videos with sounds are annoying and Chrome um, did an update not too long ago to kind of block that option of out of play if you have sound. So we need to add muted, this option, very important, okay? All right, cool, now we need to add our actual video. So we're gonna do source. source is equal to, and you can see here that I have uh, my video here, my file is called video.mp4, video.mp4, and the type of my video is mp4, so we're gonna do video and the format mp4. All right, you can have multiple uh, formats here, so it um, doesn't have to be uh, only mp4, um, that way you are compatible. Um, if MP4 doesn't work, it's gonna try this one. If this one doesn't work, it's gonna try this one, etc., etc. Another thing you can add is add a poster here and like uh, the URL of an image, okay? That way is kind of a thumbnail for your video, all right? I don't have a thumbnail for now. I can add in the future, so we're good with this. And I don't have different formats, but I recommend for you to um, add different formats so it can be compatible with different browsers, different cell phones and stuff like that. So for now, we're gonna test only the MP4. All right, so I'm gonna save that. And let's see how the page looks right now. Cool, so we have the video, it's working. And you can see we have the video is kind of high definition, so we need to kind of scroll to take a look at it. So if your browser is not um, that big, you need to scroll, we don't want to. And we, you can see here the title at the top. And it's not what we want, we're gonna fix it right now. So let's go back. And let's go to our style.css. All right, so first we have the section, so section this is going to be um, a relative relative position because we're going to have a lot of absolute positions inside of this section 
um, the width is going to be 100%. So it's going to take 100% of the width. The height is going to be, and here's the tricky part. A lot of people don't understand this unit. It's going to be 100 VH. Okay, that's viewport height. So if you go here, this is our viewport, all this. So I'm saying take 100% um, of the height. So from here to 100% right here in the corner. So if my viewport height is this, it's gonna take from here to here. All right, so let's go back. I'm gonna use this play flex because um, I wanna center our content in there, align items center and justify content center. So everything is gonna be centered. All right, and overflow is going to be hidden. That way we don't have those scroll bars, okay? I'm going to click save. Let's reload the page. And there you go. So we don't have scroll bars. That's good. And of course, because of flex, um, we have now the title here, but we're going to fix that with the position of the title. So let's go back. It's going to be section not section no 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 h1 text align to the center um just in case our section h1 is bigger or is whatever is going to be always in the center font size um we're going to do like six times our um default font size that's why i'm using rem See index, this is very important because we want this on top of our, um, you know what, let's, let's test it with it without the C index. Fun family. So I have here a fun family from Google called um, Cookie. You can see it right here, Cookie. So it's gonna be Cookie. Let's say background, I want like a, I don't know, white background. Um, let's see what else. Oops. All right. A little bit of padding. Let's say 20 pixels. Margin. Um, like 15, 15 pixels. So we have the video here. Um, I want to wrap this video in something like a container. So. Let's go and create like a video container. And you're gonna understand later why I want this video container because I wanna have um, more things inside this video container, not only the video, we're gonna have something else here later. So let's go here, let's create that video container. Position. Absolute. It's going to be top zero, left zero, width 100%. All right, now let's go back. Let's reload this page. And there you go. Now we have the title somewhere here. Let me reload the page. There you go. So you can see it and then the video loads. So we need to kind of work in layers. So let's go back. So the only thing we need to do here is go to the H1 and add that C index and put just one, okay? So this C index is like layers. I can put like one, two, three, four, or even negative if I want it to be um, kind of below everything. So let's reload the page now. There you go. Now we have our title sitting in top of the video. And the only thing that I want here is kind of control the opacity there. So let's give it an, like an opacity, maybe 0.8 or something like that. Let's save it and reload. Yeah, so you know, you have a little bit of opacity, but right now I'm just letting you know, I'm adding opacity to everything, to the whole title, not only the white background, the whole title, okay? So a lot of people add um, 
color overlays, right? So let's add a white background here to this whole thing. So let's go back there. Now inside this video container, I'm gonna add a color overlay div. I'm gonna call it color, color overlay. All right, I'm gonna save that. And now we need to go to the CSS, and create a color overlay. We can do like position absolute, for example. It's gonna be kind of floating top zero, left zero. This is all positioning, background color. It can be, um, let's put color like a light. Let's see what we have here. It's light blue and that's fine like blue and uh, with 100%. So it's gonna take all the space and the height. Same thing, we're gonna do the 100 VH. So let's save it. Let's see. Look at that. So it's, it's working. The only thing that we need to add now is some op opacity because we're kind of blocking the whole thing. So let's go back there. Opacity, let's add, have like 0 0.5, for example. Let's reload the page. And there you go. Looking perfect. So let, let me remove that background from the title. I don't think we need it now with that. And look at that. All right, so now let's say that you want, you don't want a full height, maybe you want only like a header, like something, let's say like 400 pixels. You can just go here and change it to 400, for example. Reload, and we're gonna have the same effect. The only thing that the height is only 400 pixels. So it's like a, you know, the title of your website or a, or a landing page or whatever. And you can have more content down here. So let's go, let's go back and let's, let's keep the hundred and let's add more stuff down here. So let's say like a diff. Um, you know what, a paragraph with like a ton of things that I, I don't know what it is. And let's reload the page. You know what, let's add some height to this thing. So style, let's wrap it on a div first. So it's gonna be like a div, let's add some inline style here. And there's gonna be like height, 400 pixels and um, width. And uh, let's try that. Let's close it here. Reload the page. And now if I scroll down, you will see that we have that new div that is 400 pixels with all this. So it's like you start your, your, your website. This is what people are gonna see. The first thing they're gonna see is this and then they scroll down and see the rest of the website. That's how it works. Even if if you kind of um, play with your uh, viewport, with your browser size, you will see that it's working. And then they scroll down and they will see the rest of their site. So let's reload, same thing. We can see everything full width, full height, scroll down, your website is there. Cool, huh? All right, and that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.